I'm gonna show you guys how to make your very own snare sample in any DAW, and it sounds like this. I wanted to show you guys how I do this and some cool tricks that you can use no matter what DAW you're using. We're using Vital today. It's a free synth and it works in pretty much any DAW. Uh, and we're gonna be using techniques that apply to all DAWs. So it's not just Ableton, it's not just Vital. You can use pretty much any VST for this. And if you guys learned something, be sure to hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel. So there are three layers in every snare. The first one is the attack or the punch of the snare. The second is the noise of the snare. And the third is the tail. Now let's start with the first one, the attack. So I'm gonna open up Vital here. I'm gonna choose a sine wave, just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this LFO right here and I'm gonna make it really, really fast and I'm gonna set it to envelope mode. This means it's just gonna cycle through once and end, so it won't repeat a bunch of times. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch this from tempo to seconds. I'm gonna drag that LFO one right here on the pitch, just like this. So now it's gonna sound like this. And so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the sustain all the way down and I'm gonna bring the decay down a little bit. And real quick guys, I wanted to let you guys know I have a free finishing music checklist in the description of this video. It's totally free. If you're having trouble finishing music, it's a great resource to get some ideas on how to finish more tunes. So right now it sounds a little bit like a laser and we don't want that. We want this to be really punchy and really sharp. So I'm gonna bring this time down a little bit more. We can adjust how high that pitch goes by just moving this up. You can hear it gets a little bit more snappy the further we bring it up. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some saturation. It's a little bit of soft clip distortion here. And that's it for this layer. The next layer, we are going to introduce some white noise. This is the, the noise layer. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna add some white noise, bring that up like this, and I'm gonna bring the attack up a little bit, bring the sustain down, because we want this, we don't want the attack to start right away, we wanna make room for that punch, but then we want it to come in right after that punch. So I'm just gonna go like this. Give it a little bit more release. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll off some of those lows just like this. You can already hear it's starting to take shape. And I think too, we could probably bring down that pitch range a little bit so it's a little less lasery. So then what we wanna do is we wanna group process these together. So I'm gonna use a glue compressor here and you can use any compressor you want. We want a slow attack so we capture that, uh, that punch that attack of the snare. And I've got the ratio up a lot, I want a lot of compression here. Then I'm gonna add a drum bus. And this is a combination of a couple of things. It's essentially what we're gonna be using it for is a transient shaper and some saturation. So I'm gonna bring up that drive to around 50% there, and I'm gonna bring the transients all the way down just like this. And we got a snare. You can kind of hear how fast this pitch down goes really affects the tone and the character of that snare. And the last thing we're gonna get into is the tail. So what I've got, I've got this sample down here. And this is a clap, but it's got a bunch of reverb on it and you can essentially use anything for a tail as long as it has some reverb and creates a little bit of space. So check it out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this in now and this is all, all running in through the same group so these are all being processed exactly the same and now it sounds like this. You can use these same exact techniques across any DAW with any sound generator. As long as you have noise and a sine wave and a compressor, saturator, and a transient shaper, you can get these awesome drum sounds. So if you guys like this video too, be sure to check out some of my other videos. I've got a lot of great sound design videos in Vital, making some cool drum and bass basses and house basses. I'll link some of those here at the end. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check out my free finishing music checklist.